Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my patrons and those who order their Tesla using my referral code. And here is my annual or sometime biannual video I do about a electric uh, car range in the winter, and especially my Tesla Model 3, which is the, I have the largest battery and the largest um, a range uh, in that in my Tesla rear wheel drive 325 uh, rated range so winter and when I say winter not necessarily season wise I'm talking about cold weather I mean anytime there's a cold weather there is a significant hit on um, on uh, electric cars all electric cars but Tesla in in particular is extraordinarily incredibly good for winter driving because of the size of the battery. So I'm going to tell you the numbers and I am 50,000 miles uh, on my Tesla Model 3. So I have experience not only by miles, but long range uh, uh, driving eight mega trips to Canada, to Florida twice and all that, and a lot of local driving. So I know about range more than anybody really, because I really do it all the time. So figure, 20 to 40 percent loss of your real world range when you drive a tesla model 3 in the winter and when i say tesla model 3, you can extrapolate it to most of the other cars so let's focus on that but whatever you have it's probably the same thing so it's 20 to 40 percent less so that's why it is good uh, depending on your daily driving to charge the battery to 85 even 90 percent so when it sh so we chose 280 or even 290 rated range, you will have a great buffer to do your, your things. Now, why is it important? It's important because when you do that, you can really not worry about speed, not worry about elevation, not worry about using the heat in the car. So you're not gonna worry about these things because you have a tremendous buffer. So if your daily, uh, your daily commute is 100 miles and you charge to, let's say, 300 miles, you will drive that 100 mile using maybe 200 or 180 rated range miles. That's how much you're gonna lose, that's how much buffer you're gonna need, especially when you go on long rides. So what, what affects what affects a, a range of, of a electric car? Obviously is the weather, the speed, the elevation, climate control, the those things, weight, uh, all those things are incredibly, incredibly impactful of your range. So because Tesla Model 3 uh, has a big battery, even the smallest one is 250 miles, uh, so you can have 250 or 300, 320 or 310, or something like that. Uh, 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 charging your car to, not capacity, that's not good for you. 280, 290 will give you tremendous, tremendous uh, uh, comfort. Now. It is highly recommended by me and by those who drive uh, electric cars to char to uh, preheat the car while it's charged in the morning. And if you can give it 20 minutes, half hour even, while it's charged, let it heat. Battery that is warm performs much better and you can really, really get the good effects of your uh, uh, car on your daily drive or even on your uh, uh, long, long trip uh, driving. You notice if you take a long trip drive and you're about to go to a supercharger, the, the Tesla will precondition the battery for the charge so that you have fast, effective charging. So just know, just take into account 20, to even 40%. Now, what are the temperatures for that to, to, that to happen? 35 degrees and below. I would say 30, 28 degrees to 35 degrees, you will suffer 20% uh, loss. Below 28, 25 degrees, you're gonna see more and more and more. I mean, I drove the Tesla on zero degrees in New York City one time, from New York City to, to the house, and it was we, we almost lost 50%. But because you have such a large battery, you can afford driving fast and all that. The reason I'm telling you all of this is because if you precondition the car and if you charge it to 85, 90%, you can then use the car without any fear, without any hesitation. You can drive fast, you can use the heat 
and you're not gonna have to worry. If you plan it right, it will be an enjoyable, regular car drive experience without any compromises. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.